Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. And if you have been following me on the channel, you will know that a few days back I actually attended Comic Con, but not as a guest, I actually attended as a member of staff. And it was actually a really cool experience. At first I was kind of dreading the whole thing because I'd really rather be out on the show floor, trying all the new games, checking out all the scenery, but um, it was kind of cool because you get to see it at, at, at another perspective. And um, the only thing which is the downside to it, because I loved working, I actually loved every minute of it, but the only downside is you don't really get much chance to check out the show floor. I mean, you get an hour lunch break each day, and within an hour you don't want to eat, you just want to run around and try and get your hands on everything as possible. And in this video I will be showing you guys everything I did get my hands on. There's quite a lot of things here. Um, I'm really excited about some of it. It's actually a Monday, so this is the day after Comic Con. It was a three day event, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I worked every day, and um, it was a lot of fun. So we'll start with the first thing, which you can maybe just about see the camera right now, and it is this hat. Now you would think it's a Bowser hat, but it's actually from League of Legends, but I actually use it as a Bowser hat. And um, it's really cool. I'm actually going to throw it on now just so you get a better look. Um, I actually got this for free just for working, so that was really awesome. And uh, this is literally what I had to wear for the whole time. Well, I didn't have to, but I chose to because um, you want to be there looking the part. So yeah, this is a really cool hat. I think those are actually like around £15, but it's really cool. I don't think I'll ever use it again, but it's still nice to have. But yeah, that's actually the first thing I picked up. And this is actually the first real purchase I made. Um, the second, actually. But um, I made this one on a Saturday. This was right at the very end. I was just looking everywhere because I actually was lucky enough to finish 10 minutes early. So in those 10 minutes, I actually found this really cool booth where um, they were selling these awesome canvases and uh, this is actually the one I chose and I was a huge Naruto fan, I just had to go with this one they had a lot, they had Kill the Kill, Bleach ones, even had stuff like Batman, they had literally everything and this is the one which caught my eye, it was actually one of the first ones I saw it's Squad 7, you've got Kakashi there, Sakura, Sasuke and Naruto, I'm sure you guys know the characters but wow, it just looks so awesome, it's made of polyester and I um, still haven't really found a place to hang this yet but when I do, it's going to look so beautiful, but this is definitely one of the best things i picked up at the event, and hopefully you guys like this, I'm just so pleased with this. Um, I'm not sure what size it would be, uh, maybe like an A3 size, I guess? But yeah, really awesome, hope you guys like that one. And then we'll move on to something smaller here. These are just, you guys know I love my Pokemon cards, but it has been a while since I've purchased any, and uh, they literally have every card here on show. So. I've got like two separate packs of cards, and the first one I have here are just like two ordinary Pokemon. But it's still pretty cool from um, Legend Maker set and the EX Team Rocket Return. So just a Yamma and a Spinder. And there we go. These are actually 45p each, so I thought, why the heck not? And uh, there we go. And along with those Pokemon cards, it was actually funny because this, this place is called Card Empire. You can actually find them on eBay, they got really, really good deals. And um, they were also selling this like really cool sticker thing. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to stick it, but it's just like a little Naruto photo um, of the Akatsuki there. And uh, you can just like stick it anywhere, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put this, but I, I love it, I love it. Anyway, we're moving on. What do we have here? Alright, we'll go with something a little larger this time. It won't be um, useful until next year, but uh, I really, really love this. Now, I'm not really, I'm not even finished with the game yet, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm around 20 hours in, and um, if you know, then you know. This is Stein's Gate. I actually picked up a calendar. They had a huge booth for literally um, Stein's Gate. They had the game there. They had some really cool posters. They had like the special edition of, um, of the game which you can find on the PS3 or the Vita. And uh, this is the calendar. Really cool. This was actually £10. Um, I've actually never bought a calendar before. I, mean, I used to get a lot of them for Christmas back um, when I was a kid. But um, I never actually found them useful because you, obviously you got your phone, you can see the date on there. But because it's Science Day and I love the, the artwork on here, I just thought I had to buy it. And I literally don't have anything Science Day other than the game, so this is probably like the next best thing I could actually get my hands on. I don't really want a poster because I've got too many of those. They did have actually some figurines, but they were so expensive. They were literally over £100 for all of them. So I thought the calendar will do. I'll show you a few um, pages of the artwork here. There we go, January 2016. Gotta love that, Miyuri. And um, literally, all, every um, page is, is a female character until you get to the very end. But uh, here we go. From Raynet. If you guys know, maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But I haven't even finished the game, so I'm pretty sure there's still a lot for me to learn. And um, 
She has a nickname called Shining Finger. The reason why is because she texts really, really fast and it's not really human-like. But um, she's a cool character. You haven't really, oh, I haven't really seen too much of her in the game so far, but she's awesome. Now let me try and show you something else. This is like one of the main female characters here. There we go, bam, Carissa. But really, really cool, really pleased with that calendar. Anyway, we'll throw that to the side. Ah, and we'll move on to the next one. There's some things I won't open in this unboxing. I'll probably save them for a separate one, because there's actually a lot of stuff here, and I don't really want to have things dragging on. But I picked up these postcards. Uh, this was just a pound for the free, uh, the all Naruto ones. And we have Naruto here himself. We have Gara. And we also have the Akatsuki again. I'm a big Akatsuki fan, you may know. Right guys, back to the Pokemon cards. These are just like two little items. Uh, we have a Blaine's Arcanine there. A very, very, very old school. I actually had one of these before until I sold it. Um, the, the, the trainer cards was from the trainer sets, and um, this is so awesome, it was actually only £1.95, so we're very very happy with that. And uh, I also bought one individual pack of the latest boosters for Agent Origins, so I can't wait to open that, I have no idea what kind of cards you can get inside, I have no idea what the artwork looks like, so I uh, definitely can't wait for that. And uh, moving on. Okay, and up next we have, um, surprisingly these were very cheap, these are just like little notebooks. So I decided to pick up three of them, they were a pound each. And um, oh, we got some more Pokemon cards, cool. But uh, these are just one piece um, notepads, they're one pound each. Uh, I doubt I'm actually going to use these for anything, but still, they're pretty cool to have. Anyway, I got two of the same one, uh, there we go, and we also got this one. It's got like a little lock on the side, so that's pretty cool. And for a pound, I thought, why the heck not? I really love these, I've never watched one piece in my life, but um, obviously it's very popular, and I definitely will start at one point. But um, really, really cool. And back into the Pokemon cards. Um, this is these are okay. We got one rare card. Here. I mean, they're all rare cards, but this is one uh, slightly more rare. So full art, Maxi's hidden ball trick. There we go. Full art trainers. I'm a huge fan of the full art trainers. And there it goes. Six pound ninety five. This one cost me. You guys are probably thinking that's expensive just for one card, but they're actually cards which are worth a lot more than that. So that wasn't too bad. We also have a fight. I'm not even sure what his name is, but this was super cheap, so I decided to go over anyway. I'm kind of like a collector of old school cards, I mean I do prefer the old school cards, but then again, some of the new, newer style ones do look a lot cooler, but obviously these are harder to get. So this is from Crystal Guardians, and uh, that's it for the Pokemon cards, for the individual ones anyway. And um, I did uh, buy a few boost packs, I bought some power tins, but we'll move on to the next item here, which I'll probably will unbox in a separate video, so definitely keep an eye out for that one, and it is this here. Back to One Piece, a Luffy figurine. Um, I, this is Crane King, yes it is Crane King, they're some of like, the best figurines out there and um, they have like really good quality. I've got a few myself, which you may be able to see in the background, I'm not entirely sure if you can, but uh, I've got some Ruta ones, I have, um, what else do I have, I've got some Dragon Ball Z ones, and I've got a lot, I've got a lot of them, but anyway, this is um, Luffy, I'll, I'll unbox this in a separate video, but uh, the story behind this, because I was working there, I was getting along really well with this lady, she was a, a really nice Chinese lady and she kind of like treated me, treated me like her own son, so she was so kind and she actually d decided to buy this for me on the final day, so once we were packing up, it finished at 5pm and um, everyone who worked there you just had to like pack up for, everyone was packing up for like 2 hours and uh, we came across this shop with this really cool figurine, which is this one I'm holding here, and I was like so in love with it and um, she asked me did I want it, I said yes, but I, didn't even imagine she would actually buy it for me, she decided to. I mean, I was kind of like telling her, no, no, you don't have to, you don't have to. But then she just couldn't resist and um, she purchased it for me, it was actually £30. And um, I'm really thankful for that. She even gave me her email address and her number because she wants me to contact, contact her. Which is a little weird in a way because she was like 70, but she was so kind. So I definitely will get back to her in the future. But um. One Piece figurine, love it. So I'll, I'll open that in a separate video, hope you guys are excited for that. And we'll dive in here, these are just a few leaflets. Um, yeah, these are just leaflets, but this is like one of the stands. Uh, it's a website uh, called Rice, I believe it's called Rice anyway. And um, check, that, check out the website, they've got some really, really cool stuff on there. They've got some cool deals. It's the UK's number one Japanese games website and store. And they've got some really cool Steinscape promotions on there, so go and check that out if you're into that stuff. Um, we've got a little plushy 
thing here, which is pretty cool. This was actually two pounds. Don't ask me why I bought it, I just thought he looks pretty cool. And he's even got a zipper on the back to store maybe your coins or whatever. But um, he's cool, I'm not even sure. Oh, this is, oh! Gremlins, I hate gremlins. I didn't even know that was gremlins until now. Okay, um, I probably will give that away at some point. Then anyway, we've got a kunai here. This is just like an ordinary kunai. I, I've got some uh, metal ones which are, are really awesome, but this was actually quite cheap, five pounds. So I decided just to get it to me, add to my collection. Um, it's Naruto's kunai from the first um, series back when I was a kid. There we go. I'm gonna keep it in this wrapper for now, but it's still pretty cool to have. This is like plated plastic. So it's still pretty dangerous, it's still quite sharp, but obviously not as dangerous as my my other ones, which I, I'll compare it to you right now, it's actually right beside me. Um, bigger box, a lot heavier, and um, a lot shinier. So yeah, these are my original ones, which are metal. I love these. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these are the real deal. But anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, what else we got in this bag? This is actually my second big ring, which you did see in my first Comic Con video. This is uh, the Persona 4 one. It's Marine Marine. I'll also unbox this in a separate video. Maybe I'll do them both in the same one. But uh, we'll move on to the next bag of goods. This is my Power Tin, which will also be another separate video. It's um, the Sceptile Power Tin. It's not the newest one, um, but I'm definitely in need of that EX card, so I decided to go with it. And um, they were giving out these like energy drinks for all the members of Star. they were called, it was made by Rockstar, uh, I'm not sure if that's Rockstar the game or if it's something entirely different, and they also gave out these free shirts of it, um, so I thought I'd take one as it was for free, um, it's pretty cool, I'll probably just wear it around the house and stuff like that, but um, for a free shirt, not too bad at all, maybe you guys know of the energy drink Rockstar, I do not drink energy drinks at all, so <laughs> I just gave mine away, but I'll take the shirt anyway, you gotta love a freebie. And then we'll move on to the final item, which is only a um, set of stickers from One Piece. I should have saved it um, the last item with something big and special, but I actually went through everything. So, yeah, this is the last item. Uh, just these One Piece stickers, which are really, really cool. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favourite item was down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. For me, I mean, it probably will be one of the figurines, but unfortunately I cannot open those right now, so I guess. For now, I'll probably just go with... Ooh, I really love that calendar, but uh, it's definitely this for me. The canvas is definitely my number one choice. Uh, you've got your score 7 there. I'll definitely hang this in my bedroom somewhere, or maybe even in my living room or something like that. But yeah, really pleased with that. It was actually only £15 as well, believe it or not. So that was awesome. They even gave me their Instagram page, so I can definitely um, check them out and try and get something else. So I would love a Steins Gate canvas. But if you guys are interested in... Um, their uh, their business, then let me know and I can I can hook you up as well. And you can check it out for yourselves. But yeah, that's gonna be everything for now. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you all next time.